So part A says the point lying on the line between P, which is 2, 3, and Q, which is 8 minus 3, which divides the line PQ in the ratio of 1 to 2, has what coordinates? Right, now let's think about this with vectors. So let's label the point P to be the point with vector 2, 3, and Q to be one with 8 minus 3. Well, what's the direction of PQ? Well, the line between P and Q will be equal to 8 minus 3 minus 2 over 3. So that's the vector P Q minus the vector P. For a quick intuition of why that is, if we were to quickly sketch out a graph and we had our point P here and our point Q there, to go from P to Q you have to go back along P, so minus P, and up along Q. So let's get rid of that. Okay, well, that's equal to 6, and then minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6. So we see the line, the vector between them has direction 6 minus 6. Okay, well, we want it to be in the ratio. Let's say our point is R. We want to have PR to RQ to be in the ratio of 1 to 2. Well, therefore, it follows that R is going to be equal to P plus one third of the line between P and Q. Well, that's equal to P, which is two, three, plus one third of six minus six, or that's equal to two, and then one third of six is two, and then three, one third of minus six is minus two. So that means that our point R has the coordinates four, one. And that gives us an answer of 0.4.